here accompanied by my fellow lawyers, uh, Senior Counsel Tiende Molo, and uh, London friend Mr. Ndegwa. And I think it is clear to all and sundry that we are coming here on account of my colleague, uh, His Excellency Governor Simba Arati. As you know, uh, Simba Arati, our governor, has been operating in Kisi under very difficult circumstances. And we believe, we believe that there is constant harassment, intimidation, and persecution meted against Governor Arati. The worst of them all and I'm clear those who are active in the social media already have seen a clip that is also in the hands of the police. And we have handed a copy of that clip to the police also this morning and this afternoon. Where an, a police officer, a CCIO in Kisi, is recorded giving instructions and giving insights into how uh, guns, uh, firearms, and other things are going to be planted on Governor Arati. Partly is to make sure that Governor Arati is not given the space to undertake his duties as uh, governor of Kisi. And secondly, it is a scheme to bring false charges, fabricated charges. And thirdly, to make up a case against Simbarati. And uh, we believe from the evidence we have seen so far that even in, the, in that scheme, Governor Arati's life is in danger. It's not just about persecution by the system, but we believe that his, his, his life is in danger. We have given a formal complaint in writing, signed by Governor Arati, and that complaint, the basis of which is abuse of office and giving false information to a person in the public service with the aim of committing a felony, a felony in which respect was going to be uh, taken against uh, Governor Arati. We are not sure that the police are going to undertake uh, the assurances that they have given us. But they have told us, one, they are going to take action. And secondly, they are going to make a public statement assuring the public that they are going to take action on the basis of this report we have made today. And also giving assurance to the life and security of Simbarati. That awaits to be seen. But what has been happening in Kisi where institutions of the state and people serving in the current government uh, mobilizing assets and resources against Governor Arati, that must really come to an end. And if it cannot come to an end through official action, I am sure that the people of Kisi, uh, the people in Kenya as a whole, are not going to take it idle, idly uh, without making some interventions. And those interventions, we know what they could be. Uh, but we are, given, we are giving the police uh, uh, some space with the benefit of doubt. We are giving them some space to show us, to demonstrate that steps are going to be taken to investigate into this matter and also provide Simba Rati with space in which there is security and which 
his life will not stand endangered in the usual operations of his work as a state officer. I think I've said enough, but I think, uh, Senior Council Lutiende, you can no, no. give uh, just a word. We'll uh, just, can, uh, and then they work and, uh, We'll yeah. just uh, give you a copy of the complaint, the formal complaint we made. This is a unique complaint. We, Governor Arati has lodged a complaint with the DCI against the DCI. So we want to see the action that they take. Because uh, the alternative is to take the law into our own hands. But as counsel for Governor Arati, we have lodged the complaint. They've assured us there'll be some action, so we went to await that action. So we'll give you a copy of the statement, which then you can share.